Hello everyone, myself Chandra Shekhar welcoming you all to this wonderful session where I will be discussing about some of the important project ideas from the subject fluid mechanics as well as thermal engineering which you can develop or which you can design. So the five important project ideas I will be sharing with you. Let us start with number one that is aerodynamic modeling of the wind turbines. As you guys are all aware that wind energy is becoming very popular in the recent past because the traditional energy is having pollution concerns like coal and nuclear power plant whereas the wind energy is renewable energy, green and clean energy which is free from pollution. So the wind turbines are developed utilizing the wind energy to convert it into mechanical energy. But the challenge in wind turbine is the power output of the wind turbine, the actual power output of the wind turbine is drastically lesser, very very less compared to the predicted power output. Around 30% of the drop is seen in the actual power output. One of the major concern is the uncertainty in modeling the complex aerodynamics of the wind turbine using the computational fluid dynamics tools. So here we can develop a project having the efficient modeling of the wind turbine blades exactly calculating the amount of drag and the lift to be developed so that we can get the actual out power output near to the predicted power output. So that is one of the project idea you can think of using the computational fluid dynamics. The next one is hydrokinetic turbine that is HKT. As you all know the normal turbines utilize normal hydraulic turbine require a dam to be built and they utilize the potential energy of the water to be converted into mechanical energy. But here in HKTs there is no requirement to construct a dam rather the turbine utilizes the kinetic energy or kinetic head of river or flowing water. That means it extracts the turbine extracts the power from the flowing fluid from the mass of the flowing fluid and which depends on the velocity of the fluid. So these type of turbines can be installed in freely flowing water like rivers or streams. So the flow of water will enter into the turbine like this. When they, they strike to the blades of the turbine, then the kinetic energy of the turbine will be converted into mechanical energy of the shaft or the rotor. So rotation of the rotor will take place and the water will go away after developing the power or after giving the rotation to the rotor. So that is that can be another project idea. Let us move to the number three that is automatic plant watering system. So everybody is having plants in their homes but whenever somebody go out for a long vacation for more than two days, three days, four days then it becomes difficult for the plants to survive for longer duration without water and there is no any other option 
So that is the genuine and real problem which can be addressed through this project. So how this automatic plant watering system works? There are sensors. We can use the sensor which detects the moisture content of water of the soil. Whenever the moisture content is sufficient, then the sensors are connected to the pump. Whenever the moisture content is sufficient, then the pump will remain in off condition. But as soon as the sensor detects the lack of moisture or the moisture requirement in the soil, then the pump will will be will be started and water will be pumped to the plants so that is how the automatic plant wa watering system works the next project can be windmill water pump again utilizing the wind energy so windmill is a device which utilizes the energy of the wind and converts into mechanical energy. This mechanical energy can be utilized for watering, uh, for pumping the water, as well as this uh, mechanical energy can be utilized for grinding the grains as well. So I am talking about uh, running the water pump utilizing this windmill. So the, the winds, the speed of the winds will be striking to the blades which are attached to the wheel. So due to striking of the wind, high winds, the kinetic energy of the wind will be getting transferred to the blades of the rotor, blades of the wheel and the rotation of the blade will take place. The other end of the wheel, rotating wheel is connected to a crank or crankshaft which is having a u bend you can see here there is a u bend and this u bend is connected to the pump road or the piston road so due to rotation of the rotor or due to rotation of the wheel and due to rotation of the u bend the pump rod or the piston rod will start oscillating in to and fro position. So due to this that that piston rotor and pump road is connected to the pump. So that is how the water can be delivered using this pump. So that is another idea you can develop, you can design. The next, the last one is the refrigerator, designing a refrigerator using LPG as the working fluid. Earlier, chlorofluorocarbons were used as a refrigerant and nowadays hydrofluorocarbons are utilized because they are pollution free, eco-friendly. So if we can use the liquid petroleum gas LPG in the refrigerator, the working principle of the LPG refrigerator is whenever the LPG expands, it give rise to reduction in the pressure. It reduces the pressure. And due to expansion of the LPG gas, there is a reduction in temperature as well. So the, this reduction in temperature and pressure will produce the refrigeration effect. And this refrigeration system using the LPG will eliminate the compressor as well as condenser and the LPG is eco-friendly so there is no ozone depletion potential as well so that can be you can see the diagram LPG cylinder will be connected to the refrigerator high pressure LPG will be entering into the refrigerator and expansion will reduce the pressure and reduce the temperature so the temperature will get reduced and it will develop the refrigeration effect and the ref, the the low pressure LPG coming out 
will be utilized further for the domestic burner. So that is how the refrigerator can also uh, run through the LPG and the, uh, the domestic burner can also be utilized through the same LPG. So these are some of the project ideas. I hope you enjoyed these ideas and you can work upon any of these. See you in the next such video. Thank you and Jai Hind.